Hi, it's Katrina. Number nine, dozens of new species are discovered every year. It's not every day that a new dinosaur is discovered, but it happens more often than you might think, especially with new technology. In 2021 alone, scientists identified 42 previously unknown dinosaur species. And this number isn't unusual. Since 2003, an average of 45 dinosaurs have been discovered every year. Writing for National Geographic, Michael Greshko described the current era as a golden age of paleontology that's transforming our understanding of the prehistoric world. There are more scientists in more parts of the world working on the ground and behind the scenes to find and study fossils than there used to be, according to Tom Holtz, who maintains a database of new discoveries. Plus, who doesn't love dinosaurs? Experts are also discovering new species by taking a closer look at fossils in storage and narrowing down their definition of what separates one species from the next. For example, a collection of fossils spanning tens of millions of years were once collectively labeled as the Iguanodon species. But scientists re-examined the evidence and noticed some differences they missed before. The Iguanodon fossils have since been reclassified as several different species. Arguably, one of the most interesting dinosaurs discovered this year is Spicomelus afer, an armored species that had large spikes protruding from its ribs. It lived in northern Morocco between 168 million and 164 million years ago and is the oldest known dinosaur of its type, called an ankylosaur. These spiky armored dinosaurs are pretty cool, with a large club tail that they would use to bash their enemies. Even though it was an herbivore, even a T-Rex would be a fool to mess with this dinosaur. What's your favorite dinosaur? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Perfectly Preserved Embryo At least 66 million years ago in what is now the city of Ganzhou in southern China, a dinosaur egg was buried in a mudslide. The poor little baby dino inside didn't stand a chance, but the rapid burial kept its remains away from scavengers. Scientists unearthed the fossilized embryo in 2000, but only recently took a closer look at it. They are describing it as the best preserved dinosaur embryo ever found. Nicknamed Baby Yingliang, the ancient reptile was curled into a tucking position. This demonstrates a link between dinosaurs and modern birds, who assume a similar posture shortly before hatching. It also shows that some modern bird behaviors evolved among the dinosaurs, according to Dr. Fionn Weissam Ma. The embryo was a type of toothless dinosaur called an oviraptorosaur, whose name translates to egg thief lizard. It was just about to hatch and had grown to about 10.6 inches long when it died. Oviraptorosaurs lived throughout North America and Asia between 166 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. Researchers plan to use advanced scanning techniques to create a full image of the baby dinosaur skeleton, which is still partially covered by rock. Number 7. Unusual Tail Three years ago, paleontologists discovered the remains of a recently described dinosaur called Stegorus elengassin at the Cerro Guido site in southern Chile. The plant-eating creature lived in the region between 75 and 71 million years ago, measuring nearly 7 feet long and weighing around 330 pounds. At first, the team thought it was an already known dinosaur species, but when they examined its tail, they found that it was different from anything they'd ever seen before. It was lined with bony plaques called osteoderms, giving it a large, fern-like shape. According to a new study, the fossil could represent an entire new lineage of armored dinosaurs that have never been seen before in the Southern Hemisphere, but are already known to exist in the Northern Hemisphere. Team member Sergio Soto said that the researchers don't know why the tail evolved like it did. He further explained that armored dinosaurs had a tendency to independently evolve different defense mechanisms. Located 1,800 miles south of Santiago, Cerro Guido is a dinosaur fossil hotspot. Paleontologists have found ample evidence that South America and Antarctica were very close to one another back when the prehistoric reptiles existed, including two dinosaurs closely related to Stegorus. What do you think of this unique tail shape? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. A new type of dinosaur Sea levels were much higher some 70 million years ago than they are today. At the time, 
A duck-billed dinosaur called Parasaurus missouriensis lived along the eastern shore of the Western Interior Seaway, an inland sea that once divided what is now North America. It was an enormous creature, growing up to 35 feet long by adulthood. In recent years, a paleontologist named Guy Duro discovered the fossilized remains of a young P. missouriensis dinosaur at a site in Missouri, where he's been working for 40 years. It was roughly the size of a Volkswagen and wasn't done growing when its life was suddenly cut short. Scientists recently identified the creature as both a new species and genus. A wealth of fossils have been found along the former western shore of the seaway, but the Missouri site represents one of the few known sites that was along the seaway's eastern shore. Pete Makovicki, a curator of dinosaurs at Chicago's Field Museum, described the site as one of the most unique he's ever seen out of the many dinosaur fossil sites he's explored throughout the world. The location is being kept a secret for now, while researchers work to secure their findings. And this is probably not the last of the discoveries there. Makovicki said that he believes there are even more dinosaurs in the area waiting to be found. Number 5. Ancient Velociraptor Relative over 100 million years ago, during the early Cretaceous period, a fierce bird-like dinosaur hunted on the Isle of Wight in what is now the English Channel. Using its strength to overpower its prey and its huge talons to shred its next meal. Then using its finely serrated teeth, it bit into its victim's flesh. Yikes! The ancient creature was related to the Velociraptor, but was older and had a more robust build. It was about the size of a wolf measuring roughly 10 feet long from nose to tail. Although it wasn't the biggest predator in its habitat, it posed a formidable threat to small and young dinosaurs. In 2004, erosion caused by storms and waves revealed a fossilized dino on the beach. Scientists recently identified it as a new species named Vectoraptor greeni. It's the first large raptor ever found in England. Vectoraptor and other raptors were ancestors of modern birds. They were covered in long feathers and were armed with sharp teeth and had large, scythe-shaped claws. These fearsome predators often slashed their prey, causing them to bleed to death, and researchers suspect that they may have used their talons for climbing trees. Because of its heavy build, Vectoraptor probably relied much more on strength than speed to catch prey. The discovery adds to a growing body of evidence that proves that dinosaurs were incredibly diverse, according to study leader Dr. Nick Longrich. Dr. Longrich explains that even after more than a century of investigating the Isle of Wight and other parts of England, dinosaur discoveries are still frequently being made. In some cases, he said, finding new fossils is simply a waiting game that requires scientists to remain on standby until sea cliffs break or waves wash the specimens out from the rocks. When dinosaurs existed, the continents were closer to one another, and some were even still connected by land bridges, enabling dinosaurs to wander all over the world. The Isle of Wight, and Europe in general, seemed to have served as a crossroads for dinosaurs that were passing through, on their way to or from North America and Asia. They may have also swam to Europe from Africa. What do you think about this new discovery? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. Number 4. Massive Sea Monsters Grew Really Fast During the dinosaur age, a group of ancient marine reptiles called ichthyosaurs lived throughout the world's oceans. A recent study found that they evolved to massive sizes over a two and a half million year span at the very beginning of their 150 million year existence. That's an incredibly short amount of time, considering how it took modern whales roughly 90% of their 55 million year history to reach their enormous sizes that we see today. Ichthyosaurs experienced this rapid growth period at a time when the world was recovering from the Great Dying, a mass extinction event that occurred at the end of the Permian period. Researcher Lars Schmitz described it as a glimmer of hope and a sign of the resilience of life. He went on to say that if environmental conditions are right, evolution can happen very fast, and life can bounce back. The recent findings were based on a fossilized ichthyosaur found in the Augusta Mountains of northwestern Nevada. 
The newly described species lived around 247 million years ago during the Triassic period. Its skull was roughly six and a half feet long, indicating that its body was at least 55 feet long. The strange sea creature probably weighed about 45 tons. It had evolved to its gargantuan size within five million years of the great dying. Based on the shape and size of the animal's teeth, experts believe it fed on fish, squid, and smaller ichthyosaurs. Number three, Jurassic Park of fossilized footprints. In what's being described as the most spectacular dinosaur discovery ever made in Poland, scientists recently found hundreds of fossilized footprints dating back to the Jurassic period. Paleontologists made the incredible find in the country's central eastern region while examining sheets of rock that were discarded by miners. It's the largest collection of footprints of its type ever found in Europe. Researchers have found 60 blocks of rock containing the fossilized prints of carnivores, avian dinosaurs, and members of the Sauropodomorph family, which includes the Brontosaurus. They roamed the Earth around 199 million years ago, when the town was a coastal region. Based on the size of the largest footprints, which measure up to 15.7 inches long, some of the dinosaurs that made them were as much as 20 feet tall. The prints are remarkably well preserved, leaving behind details of what the creature's claws and skin looked like. Not many dinosaur discoveries are made in Poland, which was largely underwater during much of the ancient reptile's existence. But scientists believe that there could be thousands of more fossils nearby waiting to be discovered. They will continue to excavate over the next several months. Number 2. Italy's First Dinosaur Herd Italy isn't well known for its dinosaur discoveries. In fact, until recently, only a handful of dinosaur specimens had been found throughout the country since the 1990s. Earlier this month, scientists announced the discovery of an entire herd of dinosaurs near the northeastern port city of Trieste. A team found the 11 ancient reptiles at a former limestone quarry, which is proving to be a treasure trove of dinosaur fossils. The findings are helping to add context to a previous discovery of a dinosaur named Antonio, who researchers believe was a member of the herd. When Antonio was found in 1996, scientists believed that he represented a dwarf species. But now that they have other specimens to compare him to, they think that he was a juvenile. The biggest and oldest member of the group, named Bruno, represents the largest and most complete dinosaur skeleton ever found in Italy. In addition to these doomed dinosaurs who roamed the Earth around 80 million years ago, the team discovered the fossilized remains of fish, crocodiles, small shrimp, and flying reptiles, who called the ancient Mediterranean their home. Study leader Federico Fanti told The Guardian that at the time, the region was near the shoreline and the environment was warm, tropical, and humid. The recent discoveries are helping experts learn more about the habitat that the creatures lived and died in. Number 1. Some Creatures Survived Mass Extinction Around 252 million years ago at the end of the Permian period, before the dinosaurs existed, a sudden rise in global temperatures triggered the largest ever mass extinction event in history. Known as the Permian-Triassic Extinction Event, or the Great Dying, it saw the eradication of 90% of the world's aquatic species. Meanwhile, 70% of the Earth's land animals were wiped out of existence. The area around the equator, known as the Equatorial Belt, became incredibly hot and arid. For a long time, scientists believed that any animals from this region who survived the Great Dying had no choice but to migrate elsewhere to avoid going extinct. But they recently proved themselves wrong with the discovery of some footprints belonging to a massive prehistoric reptile that lived in the Italian Alps. A team of researchers found a collection of 10 prints at an altitude of over 7,200 feet. They date back to around 250 million years ago, a time during which they thought the area had been rendered completely inhospitable. Measuring roughly a foot long, the footprints belong to a crocodile-like reptile that would have been at least 13 feet long. The creature lived along the shoreline of an ancient river delta that no longer exists today. The fact that a massive reptile was in the area so soon after the great dying proves that some animals managed to survive in places that experts believed were unlivable. 
It wouldn't have been the only creature there either, according to paleontologist Massimo Bernardi, who said that it would have been impossible for the reptile to survive alone. There would have been an entire ecosystem that had managed to carry on, in some form, after the mass extinction wiped out nearly all of Earth's life forms. Scientists have referenced the Great Dying as a cautionary tale about the current trajectory that our rapidly warming planet is on. The climate is changing at its highest rate in tens of millions of years, and species are dying off in alarming numbers. Some researchers believe that we are headed straight toward disaster, and that if we don't change course soon, it'll be too late to avoid severe devastation. Thanks for watching! If you'd like to learn about more fascinating dinosaur discoveries, let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!